When I started, I heard that it was absolutely necessary to ferment the indigo plant because people said it's necessary to ferment to get the indigo tin available. But we have seen that it's not the case by just crushing the fresh leaves and drying them quickly. You, it, they are turning blue like here and you can have it very easy to prepare the bath. So other people said, oh yes, but when you ferment inside of your compost, you do a kind of compost and then you will have a bacteria which would allow the nicotine to dissolve in the bath. We have seen that, well, a pinch of sugar is enough and it is not really necessary. So the question is, why did people do their compost and those fermenting processes? So, you remember we said that here is the Persicaia tinctoria, the, the dried leaves. Um, it is quite pale. By crushing them before drying, it turns much more efficient and we have seen by many experiments that uh, the vat is much more efficient if, it, if there is the enzymatic process before. But I have seen that, for example, in Japan, they dry the leaves first, like it is here, and then they make a compost afterwards from these leaves, so they can store the leaves until the moment they have plenty, and then they do not crush them they prefer to put water and to make the compost. So the compost is very interesting because it is a method for concentration. We have seen in the little vat that the sediment is quite big. It's one third of the volume, whatever we press it a bit. That's a problem because we cannot put more of these leaves in the vat because we will not have place enough. So for the very dark colors, that's problematic unless we have a kind of system to lower the volume. So every, everybody who knows about the gardening knows that the compost is made of all the leftover from your garden that you put on some humid place and then it will dramatically decrease the vol of volume. So you have a small amount of compost with plenty of leaves you put in your compost. So people like to make the compost and I have here compost from these leaves from um, uh, Marianne who, who gave me that. Uh, we will try it together. So this is maybe twice the, the content of indigo tin than the leaves, the natural leaves. But it is not even sure, because when doing the composting, we take a risk. So before the bacteria were discovered, you know, bacteria were this, the existence of bacteria was proved by a French called uh, Louis Pasteur, a French biologist, Louis Pasteur, who was a doctor also. So the problem was, of course, illness from bacterial origin. At the time, he did fix that the fermentation, what people called fermentation before, was based on the activity of bacteria. Uh, but the term of fermentation before Louis Pasteur was more general, and it was including enzymatic actions and everything. After Louis Pasteur, people were wondering, is it absolutely necessary to make wood balls and wait for them to ferment so we can have the indigo vat with this or is it enough to crush and dry because the enzymatic system is here and here we also have an enzymatic system which is not bad but it is kind of anaerobic inside so you can have a loss of indigo in fact. So I tried different experiments based on the, the um, works on some dyers at the beginning of 19th century in Normandy. So these dyers were comparing. One said, okay, we can have, uh, Mr. Pavi said, we, I got such 
a good result with just crushing the leaves and drying them. The other say that's traditional, so we must do the bowls. One say, but that's a tremendous work. It takes months to dry them and to store and everything. And this is Im immediate. You can do that and have the dye pot in one day. So that's extremely interesting. By comparing, they have seen that there's a risk of losing by making the balls, so they were not so powerful than the ordinary dried leaves. And also, uh, for different compost, everybody knows that at the moment you start with uh, your composting uh, process, you will maybe not be as good as a master, a Japanese master dyer. So you take a risk of maybe uh, losing your things. So, anyways, uh, the composting was based on uh, uh, this idea of concentrating the matter on a small volume. So that's uh, a very interesting because when you need a big pot for big pieces of, of textile, you need the volume of that um, ingredient to be lesser as possible. So um, we will have two or three different vats actually, but I would like first we come back to the, the determinant factors in this process of indigo.